Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Evelyn M. Perez, Heath alumna of Macaulay Honors College and Benjamin Cardozo School of Law. She is now an associate at the law firm of Kelly, Dry, and Warren. Good evening, everyone, and thank you again for being here tonight. As you heard, my name is Evelyn Perez, and I am proudly a Heath baby. <laughs> Heath provided me not only with the courage to dream big, but with the support system necessary to make my dreams a reality. Heath gave me the opportunity to be part of the first class of the Legal Negotiations and Moot Court program. Being the first in my family to go to college, the program was not only a great mentoring opportunity, but more fundamentally, it provided me with unprecedented insight into the corporate America I had, until then, only seen on TV and movies. The program gave me the chance to feel, for the first time, the excitement and rush of sitting at the negotiating table and arguing my position before a presiding judge and ultimately helped me solidify my decision to pursue a legal career. I can't say enough how truly grateful I am to program founders, Alexandra Corey of Sullivan and Cromwell, and Robin Panofka of Wachtell and Lipton, for investing in that first class back in 2004, and in the countless Heath students that have since participated in the Heath program. Tonight, we also thank the Honorable Robert A. Katzman for his years of commitment and devotion to the program. Year after year, Judge Katzman has not only offered the program his time, his courtroom, and his staff, but his feedback and words of wisdom have truly ignited a spark and inspired many of our students. Judge Katzman is the Chief Judge of the U.S. Court of Appeals in the Second Circuit. Prior to being appointed to the bench in 1999, he was a professor of government, of law, and of public policy at Georgetown. He was a fellow of the Governmental Studies Program of the Brookings Institution and the president of the Governance Institute. A lawyer and political science, scientist by training, Judge Katzman received his AB from Columbia, AM and PhD from government in government from Harvard, and JD from Yale Law School. He authored a number of books, the most recent of which is Judging Statutes, published earlier this fall. Judge Katzman currently chairs the U.S. Judicial Conference Committee on the Judicial Bench and has received many awards during his dignified career, including the 2014 Visionary of Justice Award and the Learned Hand Medal of Excellence in Federal Jurisprudence of the Federal Bar Council. He is also the founder of the Immigrant Justice Corps, the country's first fellowship program dedicated to providing lawyers to immigrants in need. Without further ado, the Honorable Robert A. Katzman. Thank you, Evelyn, for those wonderful uh, remarks. Uh, as, a, uh, as a judge, uh, I get to be involved in uh, lots of activities, but no activity is, is more special than being part of the, the He family. I became part of the, the He family without knowing much about it because of the simple view that if there is anything that Daniel and Joanna Rose are involved in, it's worth getting involved in. <laughs> but uh, in these 10 years, uh, I've become such an admirer of the Heath program. The sense that every child, every young person is worth paying attention to, that each person has potential and that if given the tools and the confidence, that child, that young person will succeed. And as you can see from Evelyn, as you can see from 
the extraordinary alumni of this program, that in, in fact has happened. So it has been an inspiration and energizing for me to be involved in the legal mentoring program. I'm a, a junior partner of, uh, of Alexandra Corey and, and Robin Panofka, and this, this program is really quite, quite something because in part it teaches young, young adolescents about our legal system, part it gives skills such as public speaking, how to negotiate with, with somebody else, how to put your, yourself in the shoes of somebody else in negotiation, how to argue a case, how to, how to stand on your feet and defend yourself. In short, what it does is give, gives you life skills, life skills that are so in, in important if, if one is to succeed in the legal uh, profession. And there's nothing more joyous for me than when the Heath students, after they've done such a wonderful argument, come back to the robing room and put on the robes. And that indeed is their future. What Heath does is it gives you a sense not only of aspiration, but a sense that yes, you can do it and you will do it. It's not an accident that not too long ago when I was uh, planning the September uh, 17th Constitution and Citizenship Day, our courthouse was the flagship of all the courthouses across the country when we celebrated con the Constitution, when we celebrate new citizens, we have a naturalization ceremony, and we had as part of that ceremony the recitation of the preamble. And I, what I really wanted was to have a group of young people who could speak with the authority of Dan Rose and who could really belt it out with conviction and with, 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 with understanding and knowledge. And the Heath students were those students. 52 words they said. 52 words which everybody in the room, the new citizens, were, had just rapt attention. It was really quite something. And so I congratulate Heath on its uh, remarkable uh, t uh, 25 years, 10 years of the mentoring program. I want to thank uh, those, who, those, young, those lawyers who've been mentors, uh, Steve uh, DePrima, uh, John Lynch, Daniel Rose, Michael Winograd, Scott Crofton, Ken Myers, and Nina McIntyre. Thank you.